Suntem undeva în Munții Apuseni, la Valea Verde, cam la 120 de km de Cluj sau 130 de Sânger și suntem aici cu vreo 23 de copii. Pentru prima oară în acest an am organizat o tabără creștină cu copiii din Sânger. Am venit aici la Valea Verde, în primul rând pentru a sluji pe Domnul și în al doilea rând pentru că am fost îndemnată de versetul din proverbe care spune învață pe copil calea pe care trebuie să urmeze și când va îmbătrâni nu se va bate de la ea. Împreună cu noi sunt sponsorii noștri, fratele Ceac din păstorul bisericii Connecting Point Church, împreună cu alți frați din alte biserici din Statele Unite care ne-au ajutat să putem organiza această tabără. Probabil the last three times that I've been to the village of Singer, we have um pretty much work with the children we do like one or two hours a day uh, where they'll come to the to the church campus and we'll have uh, day camps for them singing learning their verses uh, sharing the bible stories and crafts and uh, this year we we decided or actually last year we decided that this summer we would try something a little different and uh, try to provide a camp for the entire week for the for the children from Singer. I heard about this trip from a friend that I went to elementary school with. His name is Justin Broom. And I came because I have a passion for children and spreading the word. And I knew that having this camp setting would be a lot of fun for me and them. God presented um, the opportunity to come to Romania in 2010 for the first time. And um, when I came here, I didn't know what to expect, but um, he blessed and he showed me that there is much work to do here in Romania. The reason that I came on this mission trip is that I had prayed and asked the Lord if there was some way that he could use me. And I had prayed about a mission trip. And as Chuck talked more and more about Romania, and I had been here once before, five years ago, and uh, the children there in Sinja had touched my heart so, and I felt led that the Lord wanted me to come back. Uh, the children here are very loving, uh, very affectionate, they're eager to learn and not only that they're they they need affection also I came here to be, play with the children because I feel God was calling me to come to Romania on a mission trip to share his word with all these children that I've hang out hung out with all week um, we've had a lot of fun I'm really glad I came I heard about all the trips and everything coming to Romania my preacher Chuck took different groups. I wanted to be a part of that. So when the trip came available for this summer, I said, I'm in, I'm in. And our, our trip went up and down. We were coming, then we weren't coming, and then we were. And when I knew I was on my way, everybody in America knows I was coming to Romania. I love the Lord and I wanted to be a part of this, but instead of me coming to help them, they have helped me so much. I, we are talking about the, the same God, the same Savior, the same Bible, and we're singing the same songs that they are, and I love being a part of this, and I will be back. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came down. I could see I could see your love the the camp went great I like to have fun I like to do crafts but it's mainly about playing games or having fun so the first day we got here we played volleyball and and the kids on the team that was awesome I met one boy who loves the Lord but he called my name and said for me to be on that team I was in, I was in with him and hopefully with his friends. We've had fun this week, we've done things together and we have just, it's, it's about that, that fellowship, one with the other, but 
it was just an opportunity to come and be with kids that didn't speak my language, but they, I hope they know I love them. Ce mi-a plăcut cel mai mult în zilele acestea a fost părtășia pe care am avut-o cu fetele și momentele de rugăciune pe care le-am avut dimineață, în care ne-am putut ruga Domnului și în care am putut să ne spunem une alte a ceea ce ne apasă și motivele noastre de rugăciune. Și uh, încă un lucru care mi-a plăcut cel mai mult uh, a fost uh, momentele de uh, laudă și închinare de seară, în care ne-am rugat și ne-am închinat Domnului prin cântări și prin rugăciune. I enjoy the camp very much. Uh... Just to be able to be here, to talk with them or sing with them or tell Bible stories, and but most of all is to tell them how much Jesus loves them. Uh, each time I come to Romania, uh, God teaches me uh, new things. Um, I guess uh, for this year, I have learned how old I'm getting uh, and how long it's been since I spent many nights in a room with children. This camp that we've come to this year um, presents many opportunities for the kids. You know, it's, I know it's really nice for them to get out of their village uh, for a little while and be like a vacation for them and uh, for us to be able to bring them here and to um, just be able to play games with them and um, teach them about Jesus and just pour our hearts into them and um, what, you know, just what God impresses upon us. You know, it's been a blessing this week and um, just everything that um, all the, um, like the hiking and the games and um, just everything that this camp offers, it's just been a blessing to us this week and we hope that um, in the future we can continue to come here and to bring these children here and just um, pour Jesus into them. We've been here for about a week now and we participated in three categories, one being memorizing verses, the second one being Bible stories, and the third one being music. I personally participated more in the music aspect and teaching them how to sing certain songs in English and I'm really excited and happy at how well they picked up the language and how well they've done learning the songs in English. Ceea ce m-a impresionat cel mai mult a fost uh, dedicarea tuturor pentru educarea copiilor. Uh, liderii de tineret uh, și-au făcut uh, treaba foarte bine, uh, partea din Statele Unite de asemenea. Uh, în toate aceste lucruri uh, Dumnezeu a fost glorificat și credem că pe viitor Dumnezeu va binecuvânta efortul care s-a făcut aici. Copiii cu care suntem aici sunt din familii uh, ortodoxe, din sânger și uh, sunt uh, foarte receptivi la cuvântul Domnului și la studiile care se fac uh, cu ei și la cântări. Și... Mi-a plăcut foarte mult de acești copilași pentru că au fost foarte cuminți, deși sunt din lume majoritatea și au mâncat tot ce le-am făcut fără comentarii. În tabără aceasta eu am fost responsabil cu proiectatul cântărilor de pe videoproiector ca copiii să poată cânta. În ciuda faptului că sunt unul dintre cei mai tineri lideri din această tabără, mă bucur că am putut să învăț pe copii despre Isus și să fiu de folos. Ne bucurăm pentru programul care l-am putut face cu ei, pentru cântări, pentru mesajele care le-au primit, pentru jocuri și pentru rugăciune. Now, we were very excited to plan the camp, and so far it's been, a, it's been a wonderful experience. I believe the children have really enjoyed it, 
and I believe it's going to uh, be something they remember for a long time. I know, I know our team has been really uh, blessed this week to be here. If you ever feel like you've been led to do mission work and you have a passion for children and you're willing to step outside your comfort zone, I highly recommend coming to Romania. The kids here are wonderful. They treat you so well and they're so excited to see you. I would encourage anyone to come to somewhere like this and do mission work. The kids are a lot of fun. They just bring joy to you. You can see the joy on their faces and they just make you feel really happy. The one thing I think that has taught me something is I think I tried to give to the children and what I have learned is that the children really gives to me and also the Lord teaches me a lot about myself which not only helps now but helps other people also so I encourage anyone that wants to go on a mission trip to come because you don't realize how God will use you you know these kids are the future of the church and these kids are what we need to put our um, time and money in because when we're when we get older, you know, these kids are what um, will run the church. And we need to invest our time um, in these kids and just pour Jesus into these kids and um, see what God does through them. It's been a wonderful blessing for our church and uh, for those of us from America. I hope it's been a blessing uh, for our partners in Romania. And our prayer is that this will be something uh, that we'll be able to continue and do year after year from, for as long as the Lord wants. Credem că acești copii, prin această tabără, au învățat mult mai mult despre Dumnezeu. Ne rugăm și pentru părinții lor ca să poată să înțeleagă că și doar, doar prin educarea lor înspre Scriptură pot avea parte de o educație corectă și de o educație după voia lui Dumnezeu. At this point in our trip, when tomorrow we'll head home, I, I want to say about that. I, I already said I want to come back, but there really are three kind of people. I've been a part of the sending team before. We got to uh, get together things or or money to send send a team. This time I got to be got to be part of the the going team, and I got to be here. But then there's also that other group, that that group that what what wasn't obeying, wasn't doing what God said to do because his command to us was if we know, if we know Jesus is our Lord and Savior, we ought to obey and our command is to tell someone whether it's in our own hometown, whether it's across the ocean, whether it's in our school or in the store, tell them Jesus loves them. We all need to be obeying that command. Why should I gain from his I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart, His wounds have paid my ransom, His wounds have paid my ransom.